top. Uh, we saw Perpetual, Flight Center, Horizon Oil and Blue Scope Steel. So it does look like some of those stocks that have been beaten down in the last few years making a bit of a comeback. But today was all about the high yielders, low volumes, but the market up by 0.4. More domestic, though the fiscal cliff, obviously one of the key issues facing uh, investors here domestically. But Julia, um, as is always the case when the RBA cuts, their focus very quickly shifts to the banks and, and what they're going to do. The pressure very much coming from the political sphere as, as well as just the, the, the public sphere about passing on the full rates of the, of the big four. We've seen a uh, NAB this morning and, and CBA about an hour ago go 20 basis points. Now we just wait for Westpac and ANZ. Well, we won't hear from ANZ until the second Friday of the month, so that's the 14th of December. But we are expecting to hear from Westpac in the next 12 hours. And that's because tomorrow is banking day. We see annual general meetings from uh, Bank of Queensland, NAB, as well as Westpac. So we are expecting to, be that, uh, to see that interest rate cut from the RBA on Tuesday very much in focus. We've seen the Reserve Bank now cutting 175 basis points since November last year. And of course, all that hasn't been passed on. We have a look at um, if we have a look at mortgage rates. Well, we know that our mortgage rates are still higher than when we last saw the interest rates at three percent, and that was from the April to September period back in 2009. The expectation out there is that the big four banks will cut by around about 20 out of the 25 basis point cut, and we've certainly seen that from NAB, and we've seen that from Bank of Queensland, and we're expecting to West see Westpac uh, follow suit as well. ANZ, we won't hear from uh, for another week or so, but tomorrow the focus will be on those banks so we'll hear more from those banks in terms of some of the pressures that they are facing especially here in the domestic economies and if we have a look at the banks which are exposed most to the domestic economy it's CBA and Westpac and that's really the stocks that we're going to be watching closely given the concerns around the domestic economy at the moment. Obviously and CBA cutting. Julia you mentioned before in the next 12 hours we're likely to hear from Westpac. We have just heard from Westpac. They've cut as well by 20 basis points as tends to be the case it's follow the leader with these big four. Um, I guess the, the expectation was around about 20 basis points out of the last 25 and I guess so we so much focus in on I guess mortgage holders and this is big argument around growth versus income at the moment but the fact is that a lot of retirees are coming uh, from that baby boomer generation so income is becoming more important and at the same time we are seeing interest rates fall so that income is coming under pressure and that's really why we see a migration into those high yielding sectors like the banks and like the telecom sector we've certainly seen that today the big four banks outperforming we've seen Telstra once again outperforming just half a cent away from its uh, four-year high uh, today and also uh, some other telecom stocks high yielding telecom stocks like IINet and TPG also doing well so we always focus on the mortgage holders but the fact is a larger po part of the population is focusing in on income now and I guess that's where those high yielding stocks come in and that's why they're so popular